I don't even know what drew me to fashion. I just remember when I was like five, I was drawing bridal, ga <laughs> bridal gowns, and then everyone else was drawing you know, saints or you know, airplanes. But it was just an instinctual thing to draw really beautiful things. I think it was a way of creating like an alternative world for myself. I moved to New York, this is kind of shocking, I moved here in the mid-70s. And when I moved here, illustration was really dying. I thought, well, I'll just become a fashion designer. That was a really amazing career, and then in 2008, everything kind of changed. The economy tanked, and um, I could not get a job, so I started drawing. And that was the beginning of kind of my life now. When I draw, it's, it's messy. I mean, there's no technology in it. The drawing is really me and charcoal or me and ink and pen, and so it's very immediate. And I think people really respond to that. They relate to the intimacy of it or the authenticity of it and I think the genuineness of it. When I started drawing again so in 2008, someone said, oh, start a blog. It's like free and you could just post whatever you want to. And, I, and I, so I started one, it was called What I Saw Today. And I just remember the feeling of like, this is incredible because I can make a drawing, put it online and anyone can see it. And that whole idea of the internet and social media completely transformed my life. It just transformed the way everyone sees things. I, I mean, I've lived in New York for such a long time and, and for every period of my life and every a lot of different periods, there's something about the city that lets me be whatever I want to be. Uh, and whether it's a designer or a parent and now it's, it's an illustrator, I just completely fell in love with that, kind of the ideas of possibilities.